What's up, my trendy techs? I'm PokeTechers, and welcome to Pokemon Volt Y2 Nuzlocke. Wait a second, wasn't that over? Well, technically it is, but I just decided I would throw you guys a bonus episode because you guys all are freaking awesome and you guys deserve it. And I also thought it would hold you guys over until the egg lock arrives, which will be like, I don't know, pretty soon. So anyway, I want to let you guys know that in this episode, we're just going to do some really awesome battles. As you guys can see, the team is... Wait... Weren't all them dead? Well, yes, but since this is after game content, the Nuzlocke rules no longer apply because technically we already did the Nuzlocke challenge. So, yeah, these guys are back and they're not dead anymore. Well, technically they are, but, you know, this is an after bonus video. So I just thought I'd go grab all the awesome Pokemon. Nuzlocke rules no longer apply, so if anybody dies, it's like they won't die. They'll just faint and I'll heal them up. We're just going to do some battles here. As you guys can see, we got Kronos back. Everybody's just freaking awesome. They're back. Vanilla, Spicy Bacon, and Scrub. Um, so yeah, first up today, we're gonna go battle Alder, so let's do it. Let's go. Boom. Oh, you've come. Could I spar with you, the strongest trainer in the universe region? Sure, why not, man? Why Why else would I be here? Like, dude, are you serious with me right now, man? Anyway, oh, my heart jumps for joy. Well then, prepare yourself for battle. Kiai, that's really awkward, dude. You're like a 60-year-old man going, Kiai, that's, that's weird, dude. You probably shouldn't. But anyway... This is Alder. He is the ex champion of the Unova region, and he's gonna be a pretty neck painy bastard. Alright, I should probably should have never have said that. Crap. Whatever. It's cool. So, we're leading off with Kronos. We're going for the flamethrower, as you guys might have expected. And look at him twerking. Look at him. He's just like, mm, mm, mm. Okay, that's weird. Alright, boom, right in the face. And. Oh, he has Focus Ash. Crap. Are you serious with me, man? Alright, going for the Iron Head. That's cool, dude. That didn't do anything. If that is the move you chose, then you're the dick. Shut up, bro. I'm freaking pwn you. And he's going for the full restore. That's cool, because this time, you, the Focus Sash won't be able to save you, you freaking dummy. Okay, I'll stop. Going for the Flamethrower right in the face. Boom. Do you like that? Who's humping now, bro? Who's humping the air now, huh? Huh? Boom. Good game. That was awesome. One hit KO. GG. Going for the Braviary. We're definitely switching out now, because Braviaries are no joke. We're going for, uh, for Vanilla now. Because I haven't used Vanilla in a really long time, and Vanilla kind of just died out halfway through the Nuzlocke. So, I'm really happy to have Vanilla back. Vanilla was freaking awesome. He, she raped um, the crap out of Skyla, and it was just, it was, it was amazing. It was just, uh, there's no other explanation to it. What else can I say? It was just, it was unimaginable. But yes, good game, Braviary. Boom! Boom! Alright. And now, let's see what's gonna go into Volcarona. We're definitely gonna be switching out now. We're gonna go back into Kronos, because Kronos is freaking amazing and awesome and just freaking amazing. And, um, yeah, Volcarona is like a Neo legendary, not Neo, um, like a indie legendary Pokemon. It's like a legendary, but nobody likes it because it's just not that legendary looking. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go for the Hurricane right in the face because this is a bug fire type, which is really, really scary, but a flying type should be able to GG this guy in the face. Boom, one hit KO, right? Yes, I am correct. Good game, Volcarona. That was easy. That that was a legendary. Well, we gotta keep in mind that Kronos is pretty much a legendary if you ask me. Kronos is just it's freaking awesome. Anyway, we're gonna switch out into Spicy Bacon. And with Spicy Bacon, we're gonna take this thing out with style, hopefully. Keep in mind that Galvantula is an electric bug type, which is no freaking joke. So we're going for the flamethrower. It's going for thunder. Oh, good lord. Oh, good heavens. What will happen here? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, we survived that like a boss. Boom, flamethrower right in the balls and the eyeballs. Look at all those eyeballs that it has in a face. One hit kill. That's how you do it. Did I say kill? I tried to say kill and KO at the same time, and it was like kill. Sorry about that. But yeah, that was the one hit kill. Going for a killer now because he's going to go into the Bofalant, and Bofalants are no joke. Bofalon's probably one of his strongest Pokemon. If you don't know how to, like, kill it, it'll just rape you. So I'm going for Super Power. Going for Head Charge. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to do, to be honest. Ooh, okay. All right. He means business. And he's hit with Recoil, so we're going for the Super Power. Please, please get him in one hit. Boom. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Yes. One hit KO. Kind of. Well, he did lose Recoil, but whatever. It's cool. At least that guy's GG. No Re. And going for Rainy Clus now. Rainy Clus, huh? Rainy Clus, huh? Rainy Clus, huh? Okay, all right, interesting, interesting enough. Um, we're gonna just wall this guy. Rainy Clus, I don't really have like a ghost type um, attacker, so um, yeah, we're just gonna wall the crap out of this sucker. And so we're going into Metal Gear, going for the Rainy Clus. Whoa, you're exist. 
Stop talking gibberish, dude. We're going for Meteor Mash because um, Meteor Mash is just freaking awesome. It's gotten me through so many tough spots in the past. It's just, it's an amazing move, especially because he has Metal Coat. As you guys can see, one hit KO, GG, Rainy Clus. That concludes Alder, and that was awesome. After the battle, a fringe blah, 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 blah. Give me your money, bro. Yeah, just like that. That's the champion for you. Okay. Oh, gosh. Gramps! I did it! I did it! I did it! The white tree hollow! I made it to the deepest part! Why, if it isn't, Benga! Are you serious, boy? Hey, Gramps! You know how strong I am! Hey, hey! You're weird, man. You're really awkward. Who's that? I'm freaking Techers, bro. His name is Techers. He's the strongest trainer in the Univar region. I knew it! That trainer smells tough! Wow, so now I smell, dude? Okay. How about it, Benga? Do you want to spar, perhaps? No! I know that trainer's strong, and I want to battle, but those Pokemon haven't been through enough. Me and my Pokemon, we made it through the deepest part of the Wide Tree Hollow. You do that too. There, we'll see who's stronger. Let's try hard to be the best. Later, Gramps and Techers. Bro, you need you need a chill, bro. You need a chill pill. Okay, he's a lively one, even for my grandson. I'll explain what he was talking about. He challenged a place called the White Tree Hollow, which appeared in White Forest. You'll find well, well blah, blah, blah. an ordinary trainer, however, can't make it to there. Blah, blah. So that's the story. If you'd like, you should take the challenge as well. Probably not, to be honest. So anyway, that concludes Alder. Now let's move on to the second battle. Alright then, so the second person on today's bonus episode, hit list thingy, we're gonna go beat the crap out of Cynthia, so let's do it. And it's not that way, it's this way. There we go. And, um, there she is. Let's see what she's gonna say. What's this? What's your name? My name is Techers. Okay, I'll remember that. Techers, nice to meet you. I'm Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer too like you. I have an irresistible... Whatever, bro. I'm sure you know about Undela Bay's abyssal ruins, right? I'm staying here at my friend's villa so I can investigate them. In order to get to know each other better as Pokemon trainers, I would like our Pokemon to have a match. Would you care to be my opponent? Um... Sure, why not? Before I send you uh, my Pokemon, my heart always begins to race. Interesting, my Pokemon and their Pokeballs are radiating a happy feeling. Are you the reason? What are you? I am a beast at Pokemon. Okay, no, that's weird. So yeah, this is Cynthia. She is the Grand Champion of the Sinnoh region, which is the region we are not in. And she's gonna be kind of a nightmare, not too much. Um, I spend about eight hours, or no, like six hours, a little bit, uh, doing a little bit of grinding, or actually a ton of grinding. So yeah, we're gonna lead off with Kronos, who is now level 100. Gonna flamethrow this thing in the balls. I mean, it is a ball, so we're just gonna flame this thing in its, I don't know, ball or something. Whatever, I'll just shut up. Going for the confused ray, that's cool, bro. No worries there. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna use another flamethrower, hopefully, if we could just kind of get through this. And it has leftovers, that's not cool. And we're confused, come on, come on. Darn it, we hit ourselves right in the nuts. Okay, no, no, just, I'll, I'll stop. Okay, I'll just stop. And this thing, no sidekick, which is not good. Come on. Alright, leftover is going to heal up a little bit more. That's cool with me, bro. And we're going to go for another flamethrower because I'm just I'm just YOLO like that. I don't know. Oh my gosh, why would you hit yourself again, Kronos? Are you Ash's freaking Charizard, bro? Why would, why would you do that? Why would you torture yourself twice? Twice. Not once, but twice. Alright, now we're really low on HP. We're going to have to use a item, not a Pokeball, an item. We're going to use the full restore on Kronos simply because he is confused and low on HP. So yeah, we gotta have to use a full restore. Um, we're gonna have to use a full restore. So yeah, now let's see what she's gonna do. Eh, I failed. Ha, she went for Sucker Punch. What an idiot move you did there, Cynthia. And now we're gonna go for another Flamethrower. Hopefully this time we are able to land it. All right, Sucker Punch, probably not gonna do that much. Okay, that kind of did a lot, but not that much. So yeah, we're able to land the Flamethrower right in the face. And the ugly, disgusting, vile looking face that this thing has. And the freaking leftovers are just keep, they just keep rehealing. And um, I think she's gonna use, yep. Darn it, I knew it. So yeah, she has a full restore. Most really OP trainers that you get to battle do have full restores. But lucky for me, we're able to land another flamethrower right in the ugly, disgusting face. It only has one eye, I think. Whatever, bros. Don't don't mind me. And man, those leftovers are very annoying, but it's cool. We're gonna land another flamethrower. And fingers crossed. Come on, do it, do it. Yes, good game, Spirit Tome. And that's that's that was good. That was good. And now she's gonna go for Garchomp. We're definitely gonna switch out into Vanilla because Vanilla is just freaking amazing. So yeah, there's no other explanation to it. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, going for the Garchomp. This can be bad, but remember, Vanilla. Vanilla is just OP. 
So it's going for Sword Stance. That can be really bad, actually. If, if, it, if he hits us with something, that can be really, really bad. But lucky for me, Vanilla never fails. Boom, Blizzard right to the face. If you guys remember uh, when we beat Skyla with freaking Vanilla, it was just... It just it totally raped all her Pokemon. So this is kind of the same thing there. One hit KO on Garchomp. Good game. She's now switching out into Lucario. We're definitely going to switch out into Spicy Bacon. Because Spicy Bacon is the bomb. Okay, he just, he's the bomb. You guys, you guys probably, those of you get, uh, those of you guys who watch my videos constantly, you guys know that Spicy Bacon is the bomb. So we're going to go for a Flare Blitz because I'm just a rebel and we're not going to go for Flamethrower on this one. We're going for the Flare Blitz. And hopefully it doesn't miss. Yes, we're able to land the Flare Blitz. We're able to Flare Blitz the crap out of Lucario right in the neck. Boom. Come on, keep going. Yes, one hit KO. Yes, yes, that was weird. Okay, I feel really, really awkward now. Whatever, going for the Roserade. That can be bad as well, but not that bad. So we're going to go into Chronos because that Roserade is going to have uh, a Psychic type move and that will just devastate the crap out of Spicy Bacon. And so we're switching out into Chronos. We're going to go for a Flamethrower, just kind of test the waters out here. I think it doesn't have any OP moves that will kill us with the HP that we have. So yeah, we're going for the Flamethrower. Fingers crossed, sorry about that. And critical hit. Yes, that was awesome. Alright, it has a Focus Ash, so we weren't able to kill it, unfortunately, which really sucks. And oh my gosh, are you serious? It got a crit. Oh my gosh, you annoying little piece of poo. Alright, we're going to switch out into Spicy Bacon now. Hopefully we're speedier than this thing and we can just kind of just rape the crap out of it with one hit. Can we? Can we? Can we? And it's able to land extra sensory. Just my luck. Wonderful. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you. Just you guys are freaking awesome. All right. Why am I blaming Nintendo for my own mistake? I don't know. I'm weird. Anyway, we're able to land the Flare Blitz. That's good game, Roserade. Lucky for me, the Nuzlocke rules don't apply anymore. So we didn't technically lose uh, Chronos, the Charizard. So just so you guys know that you don't... He's not really dead anymore because Nuzlocke rules no longer apply. It's just this is just a bonus episode, as I mentioned before, where um, the Nuzlocke rules just they're not valid anymore because we already defeated the Nuzlocke challenge in the last episode. So yeah, going for the Aqua Ring, that's cool with me, bro. What I'm gonna probably be doing here with Scrub, or what I am gonna be doing with Scrub, is we're just gonna poison wall this guy. We're gonna go for the Toxic as I just did, just to kind of be a background thing, and we're gonna go for the Venus Shock. Keep in mind that Scrub is holding the Poison Barb. I believe it's called. So all poison moves are going to be much stronger, which is really great. And we're burned. Crap. Are you serious with me right now? Are you serious with me right now, bro? You got to be crapping me. All right, come on. That did quite a lot. Not as much as I would have hoped, but I mean, that did quite a lot. Keep in mind, Milo Tick is pretty boss. So yeah, that kind of sums it all up for you guys. Um, so now we're going to hopefully land a gunk shot. I'm kind of risking it here, though, because I think our accuracy is going to be pretty garbage against this Milo tick. So, oh my gosh. Yep, as I mentioned, that freaking gunk shot just never freaking lands. All right, now we're in a heap of trouble. We're pretty low on HP, if you ask me. So we're just gonna have to poison wall this thing a little bit more. And, oh my gosh, all right, we're really low on HP. So I definitely have to use a full restore on Scrub, as you guys might have all been telling me. Like, yo, man, use a full restore. Use it, use it. I know, guys, I got it. Chill out, relax, I got it. All right, full restore, Scrub all the way up. And... Gonna go for Ice Beam. Ice Beam is a special attack, so our special def- Oh, are you freaking crapping me right now, man? Are you literally crapping on me right now? Oh my gosh, that sucks. Freaking Frozen Solid. Well, I guess it makes the match a little bit more interesting, right? Um, I'm just gonna go for Venus Shock and maybe get lucky. I could use a full restore, but at this point, it's kind of just stupid to do it because that Toxic is soon gonna like take its toll. And Milotic will soon faint, just straight out of the, from the Toxic. So yeah, I might just want to just chill out and wait to see what happens. Boom. And next turn should be, it should be dead. So we're going to go for Venus Shock. Hopefully uh, we get really extremely lucky and we unfreeze. Probably not though, but don't quote me. And we're still frozen solid. Okay, then you guys can quote me, I guess, apparently. Well, whatever. Um, Come on, come on. Toxic, don't fail me. Do it! Do it! Do it! Yes! Good game, Milo Tick! Haha! <laughs> I'm the winner here. Good game. And now going for the Togekiss. We're definitely going to be switching out into Vanilla because I just... I love Vanilla. Vanilla is freaking awesome. We should be able to rape the Togekiss. Um, the same thing as uh, when we fought Skyla. She had a Togekiss that got just devastated. When that was the last time... Shut up! Get your butt out of here. And we're going for a Blizzard. 
Boom, it never misses. Man, we're so lucky. That thing is just like constantly killing birds. Boom, one hit KO, GG, critical hit. Wow, what a way to end this, right? That was just amazing. That was epic. I really enjoyed that. My heart is pounding so hard because I blah, blah, blah. give me your money. Thank you. Wow, that was pretty intense. That was beyond my expectation. What an exceptional battle. I love being here in spring and summer. I can't say it all year because there's so much to investigate in Sinnoh as well. You're a great trainer and it would make me happy to see you again sometime. Oh, oh, what's gonna happen? Hmm, I wonder. Well, anyway, we just beat the crap out of uh, that girl, Cynthia, and technically we should be the champions of the Sinnoh region, but, you know, we're not. But um, now we're gonna move on to the last trainer who is gonna be just freaking hard and strong and that's really weird so i'll see you guys right now and now for the grand finale of this bonus episode we're gonna be battling n and for this i had to do loads of crap i had to freaking battle him against uh he had a freaking reshram level 105 which is really weird but i beat the crap out of him i had to go capture reshram i had to go capture zekrom and then i had to go meet this guy at a freaking ferris wheel in like a certain day and it was just so much crap I had to do but finally we're here and we're gonna kick his butt how surprising I didn't expect you to come here well that is the formula for understanding other trainers after all you're okay with a Pokemon battle right sure man I'm always down good so I guess now we get to battle him this is uh, the ultimate battle his, his name is trainer N I don't know why it's just N but it's just N okay and um, so yeah this guy is gonna have the summer team because I am battling him during summer um, he switches his team around depending on what season you're battling him But uh, I'm battling him in summer. So all his team is gonna be kind of summer based You know kind of fiery that kind of stuff. So we're gonna lead off with killer and he has solar beam Which is not good crap. I didn't expect that. All right. Come on killer killer. You survive this right now Listen to me killer survive it survive it. Come on. We have three levels over him. Come on. Yes, we survive it We're able to land an earthquake to the face and I think that might kill him. I'm not too sure though. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. a boy. a boy. Oh, he has a freaking focus sash, doesn't he? Crap. More. Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. All right. Listen up, bro. We're going to go for another earthquake. Um, keep in mind that the Nuzlocke rules no longer apply because this is just a bonus episode. It's just fun. I just thought I'd throw this out there as I mentioned many times before. So yeah, we're going for another earthquake. Boom. Right in the face. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yes, no more focus sash for you, freaking nine tails. GG, that was great. And now going for the Venusaur. All right, we're definitely switching out. We're gonna go into Kronos because Kronos is freaking OP, and Kronos always kills Venusaur. Not only is he a fire type, he is also a flying type, so that's double strong against Venusaur. We're gonna go for the flamethrower, as all of you guys might have guessed, and he just went for sleep powder. You freaking piece of garbage, man. All right, that that sucks. So we are fast asleep, which is never a good thing. So we're gonna have to heal up. Not heal up, but kind of just, well yeah, heal up. We're gonna use an awakening on Kronos. I did not expect this guy to have all these freaking like sleeping moves and stuff. So um, I didn't buy that many freaking awakenings, which sucks. And come on, land this time, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, can you stop using sleep powder on me, bro? Come on, stop being a wanker. I'm sorry, I should probably never have said that, but whatever, it's cool, you guys all, understand frustration that comes from battling people like this guy so we're going for another awakening because i'm not about to let freaking chronos snooze off like ashes charizard does this guy all right if that sleep powder lands again i'm gonna be really angry do not yes we avoided the attack flamethrower this guy right in the big fat head that he has and fingers crossed fingers crossed come on keep going atta boy atta boy atta boy boom one hit ko venusaur gg wow that was awesome now i'm going for the rotom i'm guessing it's going to be the uh washer format so rotoms are really annoying don't have much i can do except going to metal gear so we're just going to go ahead and do that going to go into metal gear and we are going to uh try to devastate this rotom and okay so he's the fire type oh my gosh that Oh, that was stupid. All right, all right, okay. All right, we're gonna go into Killer then because uh, he's probably gonna have loads of fire type moves. And I forgot that this is summer, so it should, you know, it matches the overheat, the, the fire types. It's gonna be the oven one. Um, so he's gonna freaking overheat Killer and boom, GG. But something fell, his special attack fell. Um, okay, all right, it's cool, bro. It's cool. I should have probably healed him up. Uh, Alright, whatever. Okay, we're going into Scrub. 
And we're gonna wall this guy. We're gonna go ahead and go for the Toxic. And we're just gonna do the Poison Wall, the good old Poison Wall. Alright, he's going for Volt Switch. That's cool, bro. That's cool. Um, Scrub has an extremely extraordinary... Oh my gosh, critical hit. You freaking poo head. Okay, whatever. So he's going for Darmanitan. Um, so we're gonna be able to land the Toxic right in the face. That's, that's always a good thing, right? So he is not poisoned. And he's gonna be hurt by the poison, of course. Um, so we're gonna go for the Venus Shock this time around. Going for the Flare Blitz. Keep in mind that we have an extremely exceptional special defense with Scrub here. And he's able to kill me. Crap. Alright, two down. And he has two down. So we're neck to neck, which is really great. Um, we're not doing too bad, to be honest. So I wish we had Scrub because we would have just freaking raped him. But we don't. So we can't do anything about it. Um, hmm. Alright, uh, okay. Alright, we're gonna go into Spicy Bacon. And hopefully this guy doesn't have, like, Earthquake or something hidden up his sleeve. Um, so if he does, we're gonna be screwed. But we're gonna go for Sucker Punch just to kind of mess with this guy a little bit. We're able to land the Sucker Punch right in the face. Hopefully it'll leave him at red. Nope, it didn't. Oh, freaking son of a pickle. That was from Chugga Conroy. Alright, he had a freaking Earthquake this whole time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, we're able to survive that. He lost some of his HP. The... Poison was able to take him out with style swag tastic and now he's going for salamance. That's cool, bro We're gonna go into mercy. This is mercy meet him say hello to him This is the reshiram mixed with uh, Zekrom that I captured um, Off screen and I named him mercy because he's just OP um, We have turbo blaze. So yeah, and it has intimidate which is not a really good thing, but we have extremely uh, good special attack so um, I think it's like in the 300. So we're gonna go for a blizzard here. Hopefully won't miss. Yes, we're able to land the blizzard right in the face. And fingers crossed. Oh, crap. He has a berry. Okay, Yachi berry or Yaki berry. However you say it. I think we might still be able to take him on down though. Yes, yes, yes! One hit KO even though he had that Yachi berry. GG, Salamance. And now he's going for Sawsbuck. Um, Sawsbuck. We're gonna go into Chronos for this Sawsbuck thingy, Mabobby, whatever it's called. And so we're gonna go into Chronos now. And um, I think this is gonna be the... Yep, it is. Okay. This is a grass type. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have solar beam though. But it's cool, bros. So we're gonna go for the oh it has double edge. Alright, that's cool. I don't think it'll kill me. I don't think I think it might leave me like a little bit down under half. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Alright. Okay. And he's damaged by recoil. I think this flamethrower should finish him off. Fingers crossed, legs crossed. Heck, my whole body's just in a tangle right now. GG, Salzbug, good game. This match is pretty good. It's pretty interesting actually. Um so last but not least, this is Rotom. This guy proved to be a bit of a nightmare. We're gonna finish this off with Mercy because I want you guys to take a look at Mercy and just how ironic his name truly is. His name is Mercy, but he has no mercy, okay? You guys are gonna freaking see that right now. He is a half ice type, so we have to be very careful, but we are half for the sake of my friend who saved me. I will never give up. That's cool, dude. Never, never, ever, never give up. Um, so yeah, you guys are gonna see how OP he is because he has a, he's a half dragon, half ice, but why am I even saying that? We're gonna go for Outrage. Just because I feel like a boss today. So we're gonna go for Outrage. And come on, do at least half. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, crap, that was such a tease. All right, he's going for Thunder Wave. That's never a good thing, but let's 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 not get over um, overwhelmed by it or something. I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'll probably, all right, okay, I'll just shut up. Okay, I'll just, I'll stop. And we're able to land an Outrage that should finish him off. Yes, we're about to defeat him. Good game, Rotom. That was awesome. That was great. We're able to defeat this guy. We're confused, but it does not matter because we just beat the crap out of him. Your Pokemon are happy. They are happy to be with you. Here's 1900 bucks for no freaking reason. Okay, thanks, dude. I remember something Reshiram told me once. Reshiram and Zekrom are searching for new possibilities by walking alongside humans. Meanwhile, those that live in the wild try to be better themselves or try to better themselves without relying on anyone else. There are many different Pokemon, and there are different ways of living. That is the true freedom of Pokemon. That is what connects Pokemon to us. I will set off on another journey. There are still many Pokemon in the world I should talk to, and there is also a trainer I want to tell how I feel. Good luck with that, bro. This is a big world. You might have a bit of trouble, but it's not that big of a world. Kind of. I don't know what I'm going on about. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus episode. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.